Hello everyone, my name is PJ or Team America and welcome to my Heroic Duels Paladin Guide. So our, we're doing the Humble Blessings deck. So our hero powers Modest Aspirations, 2 mana, set attack and health to 3 of a minion. It can be a friendly or opposing minion. So we have a lot of minions that benefit from it in our deck. But that's only half of it. So also we are running Knight of Anointment and Humble Blessing. As and our only holy spell is Humble Blessings. So this is guaranteed to tutor out our Humble Blessings, which is three mana change the attack, health, and cost of all minions to three for the rest of the game. So that's also minions that get summoned to your board. So Derailed Coaster makes a board of three three rushes. And then um, all of the 1-1s one -ones from the Anixias are 3-3s. Three and also, uh, I'm running both Alexstrasas as well. It's uh, it's really nice. Like, you can have five 3-3s three on the board. And then you just Alex them and go face and they're dead. So, um, Tyrion's just a good minion. And um, let's get started. So, if you're new to duels, what you do is you build your deck like we did. And then you face off against other players. Your health starts at 20 and it goes up and eventually will be 40. Um, and you get passive hero powers after game one, or passive treasures after games one and three. And you are given active treasures after many of the games. I don't actually have those memorized anymore. Um, they changed it some recently. But you guys will see. And then you also have the option to add cards to your deck after every run. Hmm. So I don't think I'll keep Alex Draws up. We're keeping Humble Blessings. So, um... The reason to keep Alex Draws up would be to heal. I probably don't need to do that. Do I keep Tyrion? It's a little slow. I think it's okay to keep Tyrion since we have the Humble Blessings and we can just play it on 4. Yeah, and Nixie is really nice, or Alexstrasza, the Lifebinder is really nice. So this doesn't draw us a card, but it gives us something we can hero power. A little unfortunate that we got both of these. I could have traded and then Humble Blessing to heal it back up. It seems you need another I don't know if he has a way to deal with this at 4 mana. He already used his coin. Okay, he seems super dead. Um, Wave of Apathy maybe beats us. Because we can't kill anything off. Or I would have to um, manually kill something off. Wave of Apathy. Wave of Apathy is still lethal. Right. And we just have exact lethal on board. We had the Alex for 8 damage first. But yeah, so games where you draw Humble Blessings are way easier. Um... 
we have a taunt. I guess we have two taunts, but oh, these are not the treasures you're looking for. Um, trying to think if the discover is okay. Um, it's okay with a snack. The two mana discover. Uh, Spell and heal for it, and then like the six mana guy. I don't think it's ever hold the line. I think it's one of these two. I think we can take staking a claim because there are some discovers that would really be helpful. Um, I'm just trying to think of what weapons we would potentially be taking. So there's like true silver, there's Maybe I'll take the Gromish on Girds. It's close. They're both really bad. Like, really bad. Like, neither of them actually do anything at the moment. Bad. Um. Like, there's some Paladin weapons. And there's, uh, there are also treasures that are really good. There aren't very many discovers. I'm gonna take the weapons one. Oh, it's a holy spell! Is that a holy- oh my god, those are both holy spells. You cannot take a holy spell because it ruins your night of annoyment. Oh, they're both holy spells. Yeah, this is not pickable. <laughs> um, so, Humble Blessings is such an important card for this deck that um, you, you want night of annoyment <coughs> to always draw it. So you have to look at, if there's a spell, you have to look and see if it's holy. Um, So this is the only one that has no holy spell, so we're gonna take it. I, I ba you basically will make your decisions based off that. Um, so if you get double battle cry, it gives if there's a bucket with a knight of annoyment and another holy spell, um, I'll take it. And if you have if you have double battle cry, you can just you, there's you can take one more holy spell anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with this. Okay, we don't. Okay, we got humble blessings. That's good. Uh, we can lost in a jungle and then coin humble blessings the next turn. But having no passives is always rough. Reporting for duty. I think I trade. I think Humble Blessings used to be 5 mana. Um, they buffed it because Paladin was so bad. Let's see, Mac, is that your first message in the channel? Uh, that's unfortunate. The light so yeah, this game is gonna be a little difficult now.
Well, so Paladin and Priest are the only two classes that have never been nerfed. Every other class has been nerfed. Okay, this is a very, very, very bad situation. Um. Okay, we, we have to use this to heal. Guess he has ten damage. Hello, Adana. Um, Tyrion and Alexstrasza are really good for us. Everything else is quite bad. Okay, so we Crab Rider... Uh, there's a good chance we're dead, though, since we know that this is, um, Stormstrike. We're at two. So, anything that does damage face and we're just dead. Yeah. Hello, Pitifu. I see you've done your studies. There, we were dead. Unless we got Terry in that turn. The lightning storms were just too much. And um, this is a little tough. Three mana destroy minion is okay. Sure. Uh, this package is alright. That's a holy spell and this package isn't. I mean, we do have a beast. We do have a beast. It does draw us three cards, so it's not terrible. Oh bad, thanks for following. Um, but these are just, like, premium cards. Um, like, I've played lists with Nazoth in the starting. But yeah, so the first game where we got, like, we don't have a passive, which hurts. And our first bucket was bad. Um, so we had to try and get a little lucky in the next game. Our opponent had lightning storms and cleared our board. Okay, we don't get lucky and get the play humble blessings on curve this time. 
Yeah, uh, these are pretty expensive track. Um, uh, this is bad. At least that increases our odds of drawing humble blessing. Because we are we are dead, I think. We can play a two mana minion and hero power it. So yeah, this is the this is the other side of playing this deck. Sometimes you draw humble blessings, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Yeah, no, this, so this is, this is atypical for the deck. I do want to point that out. Um, to have a draw this bad. This is a risk that I'm taking to not heal this turn. Put your faith in the right hand rest. There's only a fifty percent chance of me um drawing a bomb next turn. Not even. More like a one in three chance. Okay. One in three, one in three, one in three, one in three. Come on. <sighs> If we live this turn, I think we win the game. I took a risk. Ugh, it's, that's rough. Because we would have healed. We could have healed for 20 that turn. And cleared the board. Okay, uh, goggles is nice. It makes it so your minions all cost one. <laughs> We were so close, chat. We almost brought it back. Um, Carnival Barker is terrible. Snack Run is okay. That's not pickable. I I guess these are okay. The issue is that the Mechano Egg summons a 3-3. Three, three. But Skyclaw is okay. Uh, 
Um, let's go Holy Warriors, I guess. I think. Ow, these all summon stuff. Gonna take the one that gives us healing now. <sighs> Man, I took the risk. I think it was worth it. Let's see, so the last, the previous turn I was at 7, I could have healed to 15. And then he would have had 9 damage. So I would have been at 6. And drawing the bomb, so I would be at 1. And he would have the 2 minions on board. I do things my own way. A priest should be devoted to the light, yet you lurk in shadow. I mean, I'm just always coining this anyway. Oh, it's one mana! Thank... so... I forget it. This is important to notice how I messed this up. Your left hand card is reduced because of Emerald Goggles. The first game after I get this treasure, I always forget about that. And I am very consistent about that. And then also, how so you guys understand it, it's pretty confusing with, um, So when you have Goggles and Humble Blessings, the way that the disc- So when I play Humble Blessings, every card gets set to 3. And the way the Goggles works is once the card gets to the left point of your hand is when the discount happens. So right now, it's at 3. But as soon as a card enters it, every, all of my cards will cost 1, basically. Yeah, I mean this is this is pretty good, but I could have played the spider on turn one, um, and I should have taken that into account when making my decision. But yeah, next turn I can literally play all four of these cards. Copy a spell, so a spell from my deck would be lost in the jungle or snap run. Put your faith in the light. I will know. Another day. Come closer. You can trust me. He <sighs> should have known I'd leave the on board. We don't have- I, I guess I do have some ways to heal. So it- so, yeah, I don't think it's ever Banana Split. I think there is a discussion between Grant Rimmer Patron and Feora's Blade. But Feora's Blade is a win condition.
Rally's a holy spell, otherwise this would be a good bucket. That's a holy spell. And these are okay. Not great. Like you. I admit, I've never gotten along with trolls. So, uh, you definitely don't want that to clog up your hand. Do I play this? I can play this turn one. It might be better to just stitch, though. The troops is going to be a very difficult battle. Um, so I slept in <laughs> and then I started streaming. Which is my day most days, is how my day is gone. I think we just keep playing stuff off the left side of our hand as much as we can. So uh, this draws Nazoth, which will also bring back a forge. <laughs> no! I will say, I actually think we have a chance this game without... Um... I think we have a small chance without Humble Blessing. I mean, eventually he will probably start casting... <laughs> Are playing battle cry minions. <laughs> True mastery takes dedication. Our cry. Do I even kill that? I mean, it's a lot of damage face. <laughs> Put your faith in the light. Dead from the So apparently rally the counter to rally the troops is not having any battle cry minions. Ah, uh, it's taunting us, chat. Oh yeah, I forgot that my Feoris blade is even cheaper because of the <laughs> Um What's better, one mana hilt or zero mana blade?
or a two mana astral portal. What if I'm really fast, chat? Okay, I was too slow. I'm a boomer. I think most of her battle is too good. These are both good. Uh, they're, so they're also, you, they're not holy spells as well. Okay. So, I'm going to, maybe, like, thank you guys for watching this Humble Blessing Paladin Guide. I'm going to, um, be interacting with chat more like I do every day on Twitch, but the rest of the run will still be here on YouTube. So please be sure you like and comment and subscribe to the channel. And you can catch me every day on twitch.tv slash Team America. Thank you for watching. But again, the rest of the run will be here. I'm just, um... It's not as much of a guide. More how I am every day on Twitch. Hmm. Okay, let's just look for the blessing. And... this. Mr. Nice Twitch, thanks for following. Uh, well, right now, Paladin is good. Dark Glare. Don't you dare hit. There you go. Gintorg, thanks for following. Um, you can join my Discord and I post most of my deck lists there. And a lot of viewers post deck lists in Discord as well. Oh, thank you. My thanks. Uh, there are also some sites that... I don't know the links to. But, um... Most people go to my Discord for deck lists. I can use this on Sylvanas later. Oh, I almost- oh my god, that would have been a disaster.
This is not what we stood for. Never be afraid of your inner power. <laughs> so I, I'm playing relatively passive at the moment. We have seven mana turns that are pretty good. If it lives, I'll Alex draws of the crab. He's gonna get mage. Ace, hey, so what does anyone know what happens if you double yoink? Does it like does it go back to the first one? <laughs> what happens if you have two yoinks? Does it like remember? Oh yeah, I have to play oh well there goes the whole blade idea. Wait, he's still gonna hero power though. So yeah, I think we have the blade. Reporting for duty. Press the attack. I think I coined this out. I mean, it's not like he could be playing connections anyway. You've got me fired up. Now we're cooking. Reporting for duty. Death is not my goal. your faith in the light shit i was worried about this chat Long, yeah, he. Uh, what would be worst case scenario? Vanish. Yeah, Feoris goes bye bye, but we get Ashbringer in its place. So he burns a card, the hot streak dies.
I mean, he wasn't dead on board. Oh, what do you guys think? The weapon doesn't go to three cost. I could see one or two. I mean, so like the forgery is like it's okay card draw. It does kind of clog your hand if you don't get the. Um... It actually just draws random stuff, <laughs> but it's all right. Try to keep quiet, would you? Are you even supposed to be here? Could have kept the five drop here. Oh, but we got the Knight of Annoyment, which is all that matters. Oh, and oh no. So if one of these is counters, okay, I actually have enough spells to test. So we're in okay shape. Reporting for two. Oh Neither a counter spell. He can't get infinite tenues. Tenues. Is that duplicate or something? Why would you do this? So there's Spellbender, Oasis Ally, and Duplicate. I have to assume that's Duplicate. Right? Let the dead rest! There's also Getaway Kodo. Okay, um, maybe we're better off with the Duplicate. I think that went okay. The Wax Rager is not good for us. It was duplicate, so I did have the read on that. Which makes me feel a little vindicated. <laughs> The light dims, but we fight. 
Um, I would say duels is more inconsistent. I don't know if I would say much more inconsistent. Um, with the... Uh, you just, you hit your power spikes earlier. So it's, it's going to increase the variance. Like, you either hit or miss your power spikes earlier. Also, you draft cards later into the run, which increases inconsistency as well. But I don't think I would say much more inconsistent. So I took my apocalypse because I don't think we're super concerned about them. Oh, skinny. And yeah, it's if as long as we get offered no more, please. Um, unless there is a bucket with a knight of anointment without another holy spell. I think we lean towards no more, please, to keep our deck tight. I despise paladins like you. I admit. I've so, uh, a turn one haunted creeper is not as ideal against this hero power. We. I mean, it's not like a turn one lost in jungle is that great either. But it's okay, because if he... Since it's turn one, he coined hero powers. We can humble blessing trade back. Or not humble blessing, modest aspiration. Reporting for duty. Okay, it's the it's not the discover a spell one. There's a passive that makes it so that after your first arcane spell each turn, you discover a, a card from your class, which would be pretty devastating. I guess the next turn we can go egg and then run that. But yeah, so like he's gonna be able to do powerful stuff with his turns really quickly. That's suboptimal for us. Actually gonna keep that alive. I could have done this trade. Two 
two spells. Not scary at all. Those are got four more spells in his hand. Demon are. Oh, well, this is my first run today. Oh no! Fill the board with rush minions. His are a little bit better, chat. That 8-8. Eight, eight. I got a 2-1. <laughs> I feel cheated. You either trade the 3-3 three, three or... Oh my gosh. Man, it's just five mana. Here's a full board of minions. They're they're random, but it's a full board. Could have summoned a mana worm there. So it wasn't an arcane secret, right? Yeah, I don't think, I think we can know that it was not an arcane secret. And neither was that one. So that means we know it's not Mirror Entity, because you don't see the passive going off. This is not what we stood for. could be yeah I think so yeah we know it's not another one portal but that doesn't really help or these two <laughs> or um or duplicate or counter spell so it's probably vaporize or ice or yeah it's probably vaporize could be spellbender okay so that one 
Okay, this is an arcane. So it could be a mirror. I I've lost all track of these secrets, by the way. Rotten to the core. Maybe I should have gone face there. Send one face to test for vape. Yeah. The battle. The battle. The battle. Rotten to the core. Press the attack. I'll kill the mana worm. We actually just top decked. He gave up. <laughs> uh, no, I attacked face with the Ashbringer that it couldn't have been barrier. So this is close as to whether I should take this Knight of Annoyment. It's, it's, it's anointment, but I call it annoyment because it is so annoying for the person going up against it. Um, so there are 40 cards, and instead of it being a 1 in 20, it's, uh, like, it's a, well, it's a 3 in 43. So I think it's worth it. Like, we put two cards that are pretty bad in our deck. But we also increase the odds of drawing our win condition pretty significantly. So yeah, I think we take it. I do have to say, um... Italian Forgering is an, is so good in this deck um, right now with the Nazoth because you draw the Nazoth and then you get like another Italian and it just, it helps you keep your hand going and especially in the games where you don't get Humble Blessing. If you don't get Humble Blessing it's just drawing you a random card because all of your minions cost three.
All right, so it, it makes it go, so it goes from 1 in 20 to 1 in 14. I mean, that's a pretty big boost. Playing a lot of mages this run. Probably keep the runic egg. Right, or, yeah, I'll keep the runic egg. Oof. 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 Oh, that's not ideal. And it's kelp. Oh my gosh. Okay, everything is awful, chat. That's all I have to say about this, is everything is awful. <laughs> um... <laughs> Right, he just double trades in here for crap. Um, I mean, I'll still be able to play Crystal Lion. Yeah, the why why not bucket is it's pretty weird in general like you can get triple penguin in <laughs> no flipper penguin chat never forgave me for not taking it Expensive cards are Alex and Anixia. Oh, fuck. I haven't. Or I have had some death rattle minions die. None of them have initiative or anything though. Um. So I could do this and this, or I could just heal with Alex. And try and survive a turn. That has to be my best chance. You need more emotes than one. That's 
That's too much damage. That's lethal. The, um... The playing the one ones out got me killed. It was maybe an unnecessary risk. But, again, if you're watching on YouTube, please be sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I will say the starting deck, um, like there's a lot of variation that you can have with it. And let me know what you've had success with. I personally like the double Alex, double Anixia package. And it makes sure you check me out every day on twitch.tv slash Team America. And you can join my Discord for advice and help on deck lists. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.